guys, my name is LL Gamer Crafter. Today I'm back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these little 3D origami pieces that can be used to make many things. And I will do tutorials on how to make some of the really cool projects from millions that you can make with these small pieces. But today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make these little pieces because how can you make the big projects if you don't know how to make these. So the only thing that you're really gonna need for this project is a piece of A4 printer paper. And if you want to make them have this sort of curved uh, feature, you would need a pen or anything that has like a round edge that you can use to like sort of curl it. So we're gonna start off by Sorry for that. Uh, so we're gonna start off by folding it lengthwise, uh, just in half properly. Like so. And then the next fold we're gonna make is, we're gonna fold it back to make the, uh, the side that it's eight, uh, eight inches long, we're gonna make that into fourths. So the shorter side. Okay, like so. Then we're gonna open it back up because we do not need to keep it like that. And we're gonna fold it along the length like this to make a nice crease. And creases are really important if you don't have scissors or if you don't like to use scissors because I definitely don't like using scissors so you need to make your creases really crisp so when you're tearing the paper it's a lot easier to do it. Again the other way. And then you have to fold it again into eighths. So now you have to do this for like all of the sides. So you can, it's, there's many ways you can fold it into eighths. My favorite is um, one I'll show you just right now. Just give me a second. Okay, so after you have gotten those two, you it's really simple. All you have to do is just fold it to the center like this. And make a nice crease and same with this side. Just like so. And yeah, that's the only markings that you need to do before you can make these pieces so now you can see you have these rectangular pieces you would have exactly 32 of them because 8 by 4 is 32 so you're gonna have to cut these out or tear them the way that I tear them is so you need to have a great crease and then you just reverse the crease to make it weak and then you just tear it like this you just make a V and pull. That way, it won't just go off the paper and make some just big dent in the middle of the paper because that's never good. So I'm just gonna finish cutting out all of these and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, so after you guys are done with that, you will have a lot of these pieces that are rectangular shape and the same size as I showed you just now. So now just, I'm going to show you how to make one of them. So you take one of these papers and you fold it widthwise like this. So against the long side of the rectangle, like so. Make sure that you match it up properly. Make a nice crease. Then you want to fold it in half uh, lengthwise like this. 
and I would suggest cutting them. I tore them, but uh, it gives a better shape and the pieces look a lot better in the fi finished module if you cut them. Uh, I just didn't have enough time and I just ended up tearing them because it's a lot faster, but cutting is a lot better. So the next step is to fold uh, it into a sort of house shape. So you fold one towards the center like this. And I would suggest using the closed side because it looks better. So as you can see here, uh, like this, and then just fold it down and crease. Then do the same for the other side. And if you've done it correctly, these ends should match up relatively correctly. And you should have a slightly house-shaped uh, finished product. So the next thing you want to do is flip it over and fold these corners in like this. And then the same on the other side so it becomes symmetrical. So now it should look like this. I think it looks kind of like a boat, but that's just my opinion. Like this is the sail and this is the bottom, but yeah. So the next thing you need to do is you want to fold these flaps upward, like so. The last step is to just fold it in half, and now that's actually all you need to do to make one. And now it's the puffing step. So. What you need to do is make a lot of these because it's the easiest to do it and put them on a, like, put them together uh, so that they form this kind of shape. And the way you put them on is, so as you can see now there are two flaps. So you take the end and just pinch and just insert it into the two gaps as you can see to an extent and then just push. And it should give like a little ugly uh, overlap type, but that's, oh gosh. That's where the pen comes in, and what you want to do with the pen is like you can hold it like you're about to write, but what you do is, so you take the uh, end, do not have like, don't have the writing part out, just keep it on, I don't know, unpopped, I don't know, so, and then just um, start right below this uh, jutting thing and just Press inward and go down until you hit it and then just like turn it in a circle kind of like this until you get like a nice curved shape and I'll show you. It, it has gotten this amazing round shape like the other one which is right here. As you can see it has a nice round shape. And yeah, that's all you have to do to make these pieces. Now all that's left is to do a lot more of them and if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and like. Comment down what projects I should do next. If you guys have any origami ideas that you would like to see me do, make sure to tell me so that I can either design one or find one to teach you guys. And I will do a tutorial on how to make a some other ones. I will have that out by tomorrow. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, thank you so much and bye.